right, so this is a full moon reading for a Libra. This is for the harvest moon in Aries. Mostly talks about um, what is your goal for this cycle? What must you leave behind to complete this cycle? And how, and how can you release your inner warrior? What feels your drive? So the first one is what is your goal for the cycle, which is the Six of Cups in reverse. The Six of Cups in reverse is the future goals, intentable, intangible, obtainable. Let's put that out there, obtainable. Um, that which will be, or uh, which should be, plans that could go awry. So, um, it, you're probably planning something either in your personal life, career life, or romantic life, and you're just, you know, kind of <laughs> trying something. Um, because maybe it's been stagnant for too long, maybe it's just a question of yes or no, and you're just kind of like, um, I'm just going to go for it, you know. So, whatever the case is, you're going to go for it. Then we have the next one, which is what must you leave behind in this cycle to complete that? Um, so we have the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is great triumph, a victory, good news, with far-reaching ramifications, expectations, rewarded, hopes. So there's probably a lot of hope there in the relationship or career. Um, so you're kind of like, you're not sure about it anymore. You kind of had to leave that aspect behind. The Six of Wands you're leaving behind for the Six of Cups. So um, probably relationship related. Um, so we have How Can You Release Your Inner Warrior, which is the Two of Swords in Reverse. The Two of Swords in Reverse is treachery, lies, um, mind out of balance, false friends, bad business dealings, um, delinquency, or disloyalty. So, um, like, this could be playing to a lot of your insecurities, but you're kind of breaking out of, kind of being loyal to the wrong people, um, doing the right thing always, even if um, the people that you're surrounding yourself with aren't the most savory of people, or maybe you don't trust your job, you don't see anything coming out of it. It's something that's holding you back out of the way of what you really want, and that's where I'm getting with this. So you're just kind of trying to get to where you need to be, maybe being a little bit more daring than usual, and, um, just trying something else. So, we have what fuels um, your drive is the Seven of Swords in Reverse. The Seven of Swords in Reverse is uncertain advice, beating around the bush, and arguments. So there might um, have been a lot of bad advice, maybe some things the outcome wasn't good, or maybe you were listening to the wrong people, maybe close-knit people, maybe your family, maybe certain other things and like maybe it's your relationship with another person that's kind of um like you're you've known this person for a long time and maybe your family is against it because of um cultural differences or just in general um because they want to protect you they want you to make good choices um so you know you can't really you know, stop them from being overprotective because maybe you've been hurt in the past or maybe they have experience where they got hurt in the past and they're trying to protect you from the same fate. So you can't hold that against them. But um, I think you're kind of taking your own risk at this point. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I will be doing a October 10th reading for the blue moon in October. So two full moons in October. Spoiled. Um, anyway, so the other moon, since I'm doing it on the 10th, 
It's a couple of weeks away. Usually I do it the week before. So it's the blood moon, the travel moon, the hunter's moon, and the blue moon. So uh, on Halloween, that's pr a pretty magical moon. Hopefully everything goes right. But yes, stay, um, watch out for that in October 10th. Um, and it could give you kind of like the second piece of the puzzle as far as your journey in October is concerned. Maybe it's the end of um, a journey and then uh, October 30th, 31st could be the continuation, kind of like a part two of your journey forward. So um, anyway, if you like this video, leave a like. If you like what I'm doing on here, subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, ideas for my next video, leave them in the comment section. I read everything you know this. And thank you for watching. I will see you on October 10th, and we will see what happens on part two. I put it so close to the top because I myself want to know, so <laughs> I know you're probably curious. Thank you, Libra. I will see you on the next one, alright? Bye, sweetie.